Code Explain says hi. So today we're going to build the UI for our edit to do component. This is where you can edit a to do. You click on a to do here and then you will be able to edit that to do from here. So if you remember, we have seen this form before. So if I click on the button new to do, this model opens up and we have this form here that looks a lot like our form here. So add new to do and edit to do will use the same form. So why not go and create a new component called to do form and then share this component with add new to do and edit to do components. So because our forms here has little differences, for example, this one has a hidden, this one's not, and this has some buttons here and this has not those buttons. So because we have some differences, our to do form component needs to receive some props so to determine how our form will look like at the end. For example here for the hidden, here we have a hidden and here we have not a hidden. So the hidden here is going to be passed as a prop. So we can pass our hidden as a string, for example add a new to do, or we can just set the default value of hidden to false. So if we pass this as a string, then we go and render an h3 uh, hidden. And if we didn't pass in a hidden prop, then it's going to be by default false and nothing's going to show there. Next, they both have an input and it's a controlled component. So we will need a text as a value and then set text to change this value here. And then they have a date picker. Also, we need a value and set day to change the value of our day uh, state. And then you both have a time picker. So we need time and then set time. Time is our variable and set time is a function to change time. And then they both have projects. So our to do form here needs our projects array to render all the projects. Now our form here will have to show some buttons. Add to do button to submit and this X button here to cancel or to close the model. But in the other side here, it's going to be false. So we have no buttons. So when show buttons is set to true, we're going to render our buttons here. But if show buttons is set to false, we're not going to render them. So the default value of our show buttons is going to be false. So if I don't pass show buttons as a prop to my to do form, it's going to be by default false. And then because I need to close the model from here, if you remember, we need a function called set show model to change the show model state from true to false and then close our model. The last thing is because this is a form, we need a submit event. So we need a handle submit function. So we also need to pass in a handle submit function. We need to create that function in our add new to do component and also in our edit to do component and then pass that function to our to do form component. Now let's talk about what's going to go inside our return statement or the JSX of our to do form. So for our to do form here, it will receive some props like we've seen before. Then inside our return, we're going to wrap our form inside our material UI pickers utils provider because we're going to need to use our date picker and our time picker. Now for our form here, I'm going to put a class name called to do form for some styling. Then here I'm going to put a non submit event and then I'm going to call my function handle submit that I'm going to receive using props. Now this is how our form will look like at the end. So we have here a hidden and an input. We're going to wrap them inside the dev with the class name text. So if the hidden is a string, then it's going to be true. Then we're going to show the hidden. But if we didn't pass a hidden for our to do form, it's by default false. So false, we're not going to render our hidden here. Now for our input is going to be of type text and the placeholder to do and autofocus. Now because we need to control this, we need a value and an unchanged event. So we're going to use our text as the value and our set text to change the value of our text. Now for our remind me and this icon here, we just need some 
HTML there. Then for our choose a day, we need a an icon and then a p tag choose day and then our date picker. A date picker is just an input, so we're gonna need a value and an unchanged event. The day is gonna go here and then set day to change the value of our day state to the date the user has picked. Then we have here our time picker so we need again our value is going to be time and then set time to change the time to the time the user picked. Now for our project here we are going to receive our projects as an array so I'm going to use map and then for every project I'm going to return a dev for the class name project and the key is going to be the project.id and then I'm going to just show the project.name. So these are the names of the projects. Now for our buttons here, so if the show buttons is true, so if I pass the prop show buttons and they set it to true, I'm gonna go and show these buttons. But if I didn't pass a prop called show buttons, this is gonna be by default false and this will not show these buttons here. If I set show buttons to true, then I also need to pass in set show model because I'm going to need to add an unclick event to my cancel button here to the X button so I close the model. So when I click on this, I'm going to call my function set show model and this will set show model to false. Now let's go and call our to do form component from our add new to do component and our edit to do component. So for our add new to do component, we have already created that component in a previous part. So we already have some code in our add new to do function. Now all what we need to do is ungo and remove the old log form from inside of our model here. And then we're going to call our to do form component from here. Before that, we have some state here. So we have our show model state. Now inside the model we need to render our to-do form. So our to-do form here needs the handle submit function that we need to create here and then our hidden it's going to be add new to-do then text and set text for our input here so we need to create some state then our day and set day for our date picker and then time and set time for our time picker and then the projects array so this is an array that we're gonna create, but later on, we're gonna get this array from our database. Then we need to show these buttons here. So I'm gonna set that to true. And at the end, I need to pass in the set show model so I can close the model from our X button. So now you can see that our add new to do component code is so clean. And that's some of the best things about React. Now let's move on to our edit to do component. It's going to be almost the same. So we need a function called edit to do. We've created this. We need then a header edit to do. And then inside our dev with the class name container, we need to render our to do form. In this case, we need to pass in again our handle submit function. And then we don't need a heading. We don't pass a heading. So it's going to be false. So we're not going to render an h3 tag here. Then our text and set text for our input here. So we need to create some state. Then a day and set day for our date picker. Then time and set time for our time picker. And then our projects array. Again, we're not showing the buttons. So we're not passing those. And by default, they are false. So we are not going to show them or render them. And we're not going to pass our set show model at all. Now again, you can see that the code for our edit to do is much more cleaner. One thing before we move on to the code part, our edit to do here needs a selected to do. So I'm going to talk about that in a future part from this course. So when I click on a to do from my list, then I'm going to send that to do to my edit to do. And this inputs here, the input, the date picker, the time picker, will receive their initialized values from that to do I clicked on. So that's it for the logic part. Let's go now and open our text editors. Mm -hmm. 
So again, before we start, we need the files from the last part, part 11. I need to go and copy the link from that folder, paste it in down git and click on download. Once you download that, go into that folder, run in pm install and then you're good to go. If you already have the files, you don't have to do this. Just go and open your text editor, go into the components folder and create a new component called to do for form. Now I need to go to my add new to do component and copy the whole code from that. So that's the code I'm going to be using in our to do form component. Now we don't need a model, so I'm going to remove that. We don't need to use state, but we need all of these. Now I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove or, or rename this to do to, to do form. Now I don't need the model on the whole thing. I need to remove this as well and rename this to to do form. Now let's arrange our code. Now for our form on submit, we're going to call a function called the handle submit that we're going to receive using props. I'm going to also add the class name to do form for styling. Now I'm going to go and distract my props. I'm going to receive handle submit a heading and by default it's going to be false, a text and set text, a day and set day, and time and set time. These for our inputs. And then our project array, and then show buttons, which is going to be by default set to false, and then set show model, which is going to be false also by default. Now here I'm going to go and use some uh, conditional rendering. So if we receive a heading, then I'm going to show that heading. If not, I'm not going to render a heading. Then for the text going to be just the same thing. Now inside our project here, I'm going to go and use a map to render all the projects. So I'm going to go and return a dev with the class name project and I'm going to render just the name of the project. And here we need a key. So it's going to be the project.id. Now for the buttons here, I need to render them only if the show buttons is true. And then I need to wrap them inside a dev. So that's it for our to-do form. I'm going to close my to-do form. And from inside our add new to do. I'm going to remove my old long form and then I'm going to go and use my to do form component. So this needs a handle submit function. So I'm going to go and create that function. It's going to be empty for now. I need to get rid of this and then import my form my to do form component. Now I need to pass in a heading that says add new to do. And then our text for our input set text to change the text value day and set day. Then time and set time. And then my project array. I'm just going to go and grab my array from project. I'm going to paste it here. And then we need our show buttons to, set, to be set to true because I need to render the buttons. And then set show model to close the model. So now I'm going to go and check that. So now you can see that my form is there. So nothing has changed. Now let's go and uh, create our edit to do component. I need to copy my to do form because I'm going to go and use the same form here. First, I need a header. It says edit to do and then a container a dev with the class name container and then my uh, to do form component. So here it's going to be uh, the same constants 
are the same states. So I'm just gonna go and grab that from there. I need to bring a new state. I also need to import uh, the to-do form. Now I here, like I've said, this will be uh, initialized with the to-do the user clicked on. I don't need a hidden. I don't need show buttons and set show model. So if I save, you can now see my uh, edit to do or my form there. Now let's go to our app that CSS and add some styling there. So for our edit to do dev, we need a position absolute, then the bottom 40 pixels, just like our to do's component. Then for left, I'm gonna need a calc function, 40 pixels from the left, plus 450 pixels, which is the width of our to-do's component, where we show our to-do's, then another four pixels from our to-do's component. Now, for the background color, it's gonna be a white color, and then a uh, height is gonna be 80%, just like our to-do's component, then the width is going to be 450 pixels, just like our to do's component. Then a border radius of 4 pixels. And then an opacity of 0 0.9. Now for our header, it's going to be some margin, one RAM for top and bottom, 0 0.5 for left and right, a font size of 1.2 RAMs, and then a font weight bold, and then some padding, bottom two pixels, and then a border bottom of one pixel solid and a gray color. Now let's go to our form, our old form. So we said add new to do form. I now need to change this to do form, the component we created. Now you can see that our form goes beyond our edit to do. So I just need to set the width to 100% and that fixes the problem. Now I just need to copy this and change all of these. I don't really need to change them manually, but I need to do that and save each time so you can see uh, the changes in our UI. So I'm almost there. So now if I go there, you can see that everything's working. The stars are applied. Same thing for our add new to do component. So that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. So see you in the next part. Take care.